What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Tian's move back here with another banger, man. So we're gonna hop into number one Georgia versus Kentucky highlights. Uh, this is my first highlight review of the year. First couple weeks, you know, are little uh, kind of like almost like scrimmage games. So let's hop into this game and uh, see what we got rolling. Georgia two and zero routes against Clemson and Tennessee Tech. This is their first true road game of the year. And the opening kickoff is a touchback. 389, which is still his career high. And four touchdowns. Hopefully Kentucky can produce an upset. Again runs for a first down. Beck under duress. And oh, yeah. Thrown away. That was good pressure. That was real good pressure. Mark Stoops said the job for his staff. Get the confidence back after that demoralizing loss to South Carolina here. Ooh. A flag thrown and the kick of beauty by Forson last week against South Carolina. I wonder what Three the flag was for. By Van de Griff. He's in the end zone and in trouble. He's a very good runner and he's tough and he slides down. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's a boy that hold up. I'm pretty sure brought Rick Van de Griff transferred from Georgia. Yeah, he used to play for Georgia. That's what I thought. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Nope. He's nope. forced not to throw skip it. Forson is on the ground. Van de Griff, far sideline, caught. Dane Key again. First that was a good throw. Not going to lie, that was a good throw. Tenth play of the drive, which started at their own one. And Tennessee plays uh, Kentucky. Ooh. Hold up. Started at their own one. Georgia brings up oh, he ripped right through there. He ripped right up through the A-gap. Georgia yep. brings a blast. Vandergriff lost the football. And it's recovered by Dylan Ray. Gabe well, it was recovered, but okay. That was a good force fumble, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Kentucky is eating them up, bro. Them cats are eating them dogs, bro. Cats are eating the dogs tonight. Look at that. Five-yard loss, bro. Kentucky is buckled up tonight. That's Zion Childress again. Nearing the end of the first quarter, and it's still tied. He scoops it up. It's deflected and falls incomplete. All right, bro. hold on. We got to pause. Georgia, where y'all head at, bro? Y'all are playing some sloppy football. First of all, you get five-yard loss on the run, but you at second and 15. I guess you had an incomplete pass or something because now you're at third and 15. Then you fumble the ball, then you throw it, and then you throw it uh, off balance. Incomplete pass. Dude bobbles it. Come on, bro. Where y'all head at? Again. Low snap. Right. He scoops it up. It's deflected and falls incomplete. Intended for ETN, Dion Walker. I don't know why he's picking up the ball. <laughs> it don't matter now. Don't hit the turf, bro. Big favorites tonight, but he anticipated a tough battle. Said it's always difficult when they come to Lexington. Brock Vandergriff on target to Barry on Brown last week. Third down and 20. Rock Vandergriff is playing hard. He's playing against his ex team. Perhaps hoping to playing hard. Get in the field goal range. Made 31 of his last 34. This would be a career long. Oh. And it is good. That was a nice kick. From 55. That was a nice kick. Peter was one for five in his career beyond 50 yards. ETN's the running back. They rush just those three back a lot of time. Hmm. The pass deflected and still. That was a nice catch off of the play. That was, that was nice by Dominic Lovett. They very rarely blitz. They bring pressure at back and the throw is incomplete. Oh my gosh. Zion Childress down the side. Alright, that's crazy. Touchdown. That's wild. Hold up. These picks right here are the types of picks that I'm always talking about. Whenever I'm complaining and saying that that should not count for the QB, these are the types of picks I'm talking about. QB had no play in this, right? Of it being a pick. Um, it's kind of just one of them unfortunate things. But it still counts under the QB. They bring pressure at back and the throws in Gosh, how about bounce up like that is wild. I've never seen that. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I know that the Kentucky fan going crazy. We'll definitely take a look at this as it's going to the ground. Does the ball hit the ground before it's oh, pumped up into the air? The way they got bounced up was crazy. 
of Childress. It does look like initially that ball does hit the ground. As Lovett's going for it. He made such a great catch a moment ago at his shoelaces. This one's off uh. the mark. And the pass was incomplete. There is no touchdown. Be down. That's crazy that that did not count. That's actually wild. The game going exactly as it would have hoped. Under duress. I mean, it, it did kind of touch the ground a little bit, but uh, that's iffy. And the pass thrown incomplete, and now there's a late flag, a couple of them. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, coming on your three. They're driving the quarter back into the ground. In this case, of the coaches, it wasn't me. Play fake, and they want to get more of this. He got it off just in time. Ooh. And it is caught on the far sideline. There's a flag down. Personal foul. Right there. Are they gonna call a that? Call by the center judge to see the flag fly Kay. in there from the bottom I think that's corner a of the screen. And how about the concentration? Ah. Back to look at the catch. Looks like he nah, caught the I think ball. Foot right out. As as did he complete the catch? The other question is, does the first foot come down in bounds? Yeah. An incomplete pass on the replay review. You see in a backup rule, yeah. second and ten. The Texans not having it. anything, the anything to go their way the either. If they just have a few things to go their way, they could win this game. Had five sacks last year to lead their team. Van de Griff found some running room. But for some That's reason, Georgia down. always has a few games where they play iffy, and they and they play really like they should lose. But for some reason, they always find a way out of it. Uh, I think one game uh, that comes to my mind is last year versus uh, Missouri. Uh, they should have lost that game. Uh, and I think there was one more too. I don't think it was Auburn, but it was against somebody that they that they should have blown out or whatever. I think it was even at home. Um, and then they they found a way out of it too. Now this year, Kentucky was the one the close one so far. We'll see if there's any more. But it always seems like Georgia finds a way out of it. Um, but yeah, always seem to have a have a game or two like that every year. Play fake and Ooh, Ingram sad. Dawkins oh. is there. Again. Get out of that. that's, that's and this it. time he got him. Nobody got in the way. It's Tennessee Tech program rebuilding under terrific coach Bobby Wilder. Look up, oh, Vandergriff hit and lost the ball. Raylan Wilson knocked it free, and David okay, that's Wilson crazy. has it. Bobby Wilder. Look up, oh, Vandergriff hit. That's the second time he's stumbled the ball. Raylan Wilson knocked it free. He, his awareness, and man. Wilson has it. You got to have good awareness, bro, to be a quarterback. In college, especially in the NFL, you gotta have great awareness to be a quarterback in the NFL. But I mean, you gotta you gotta know kind of where your defenders are at and stuff. That's what that boils down to. Can't start throwing the ball when you're about to get drilled. You'll see right here Wilson taking off, sees it initially. Caddis loses him, and Vandegrift. We said it earlier. Put the ball in the deck a little earlier. You gotta have two hands on the football. He has one hand on the football right there. When the defender hits him, to Colby Young. Big target in the red zone. They go to the other side. It's broken up. Side That's what I'm saying. He's actually playing good defense. 34 yard field goal. Carson Beck is the holder. And Woodring remains money. Play here late in the first half. On third and one, three minutes to go. Sumo Karnbe bounced outside, has a first down. Trying to take the clock all the way down and score as late as they can. First, they need the first down, and it looks like Sumo Karnbe has it. Sumo Karnbe, they fake it to him. Vandergriff lowers his head. Vandergriff is running hard tonight. And is fired up about it. Every time I've seen him, he's running hard. Every, every run. Look at that. Georgia's ain't, ra ain't wrapping up. They're going to take a 6 3 Marks lead at halftime. Wants to make sure he has the lead yep. at the half, and Kentucky likely will, as that's good from 32 of the top seven. Hey everyone, Wheels here with a reminder and to I subscribe, you, as about 90% of you watching right now are not subbed to the channel. Thanks everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Trying to play mistake-free football. Vandergriff lost make, one Make sure you go uh, stop the wheels, the wheels as well. But um, I guarantee you nobody thought week, that uh, Kentucky would be in the lead. Yeah, halftime. Vandergriff on target. First down. Jamari Mack 
Oakland. First downs are 14 to 3. Jamarion Wilcox. The line anchored by the center, Eli Cox. Another tough run against the Gamecocks. Stumo Karnbe breaking tackles, and then he gets belted Dan Jackson for the decision to go for a fourth down in his own territory. Oh, they'll go again. They didn't get a fourth and one. <laughs> I guess their philosophy is just uh, beating with field goals. Was feeling the pressure he was getting in players' faces before this drive. He was emotional. He was singling guys out, grabbing them and yelling at them. And this team kind of needed a fire lit under them. Frazier is in at running back now, the freshman from Los Angeles. Ooh. Back got belted as he threw, but he got it to Dominic Lovett. That was nice. Down at the 42-yard line. You deliver a throw like that as you're about to get drilled. Not gonna lie, that was good. Down the middle and caught by Dylan Bell with tight coverage from Ty Bryant. Love it when in motion. Beck throws to single coverage. And a oh yeah, George is driving now. Toby Young for a first down for the Dogs at the 13. Most of these fans on their feet. Beck steps left, dumps it Ooh. off, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it. To How can Trevor you drop again. that, bro? This is virtually a gimme for him. That could not have been more right down the middle. Game of field goals. Vandegriff, no pressure. Zings one, and it's broken up. Even with all that time, he couldn't find anybody open. Arian Smith, the most. Somebody's going to have to score a touchdown eventually. Trevor Etienne, first down into Kentucky territory to the 48. Number 57 was leading the way there. ETN run after the catch, another first down. ETN finds a seam, stays in. Oh wow! Did he not go out of bounds at all? Oh no, they they ruled him out. Robinson. That's a touchdown. To goal line touchdown, Georgia. Branson Robinson from three yards away. It looked like he was going to be stopped in the backfield. There were a couple Kentucky defenders that had won along the lines of scrimmage. They were trying to trip that ball, Branson too. Branson Robinson, so quick. I like yes. him against you, though. And a Griff. And under duress, he got it off. Demi Sumo Karnbe. They were wrapping Vandergriff's left ankle before he came out of the field. He has Somebody's going to move the clock. In the slot, some beautiful moves. My right, gosh, the clock's been on 11 minutes. We talked to them yesterday. Farrier. Somebody moved the clock. With the motion. Some people probably Karnbe scrolling through TikTok. From a would-be tackler behind the line of scrimmage. Down to two as Vandergriff got the snap. Quick pop. Oh, my gosh. That was almost a good. Oh, my. That would have probably ended the game. A point. Alex Rayner. Good. He's made two from 50 plus tonight. The ball Humble. dropped by Etienne on the exchange. He got on it, but it's a loss. Crowd that was almost a disaster. Let's see if they feet. convert on third down. In trouble. He escapes. Beck throws. Incomplete nope. behind Oscar Delp. Nine for 15. Kentucky gets Potentially down. one last chance. This is probably the last Rolling chance. Right. Jalen Walker coming after him. There's a flag down. The pass is incomplete. That was third down. Now you've got to try to skin that as much as you can. Holding. Defense. Holding. Defense. Oh, wow. Move the safety With all this position. help and everything. Georgia blitzes. you like 70 yards, bro. Vandergriff runs away from him. Ooh. And gets knocked out of bounds near He's the He's running hard, dude. Walker. On second and two, the pistol. Of a good and run. Kongbe has the first down at midfield. Fourth and eight. With all their timeouts and the two-minute timeout. Van oh, yeah. Dumped as he threw it. Jalen Third and eight. This will make it fourth and eight. There has not been a whistle. And now there is. Gabe Harris picked it up. They How they get the ball back? Him. Down it goes. Dominic Love. Well, it didn't show how they got the ball back, but that's probably it. They make a first down here, it's over. Here's Oscar Dell. Shot down. The ball came out. Looked like it came out 
before he hit the ground, and that's the ruling. Which will bring up third down. And oh, one. man. Oh, yeah. The they had like a chance. Been coming out before, but if 11 wasn't there, Kentucky had a chance. For Georgia, he was going right to hop on it anyway, but if they if they were paying a little bit more yeah, attention right. it's coming out no question after video review the football was fumbled look right here Ooh, and that ball did look like it might have been coming out if he's paying a little bit more attention he may be before, able to get there but, before he would have got back it, maybe even before 11 he might have been able to pry, pry it out keep for georgia arian smith right there to mm. hop on it they got it back. Anyway, crazy. Yeah, you're right. It's coming out. No question. After video review, the football was fumbled, but it was recovered by the offense for a first down. First down, Georgia. Uh -oh, they sell out on the run. Back. Do the Cats. ETN turn the corner. First down, but there is a flag. Illegal block in the back. Offense, number 11. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. The game clock will start on the snap. On the right here, ETN. just to stop him. Stacked up with one minute to go at the 35. All right, let's see what they do. Jamori Macklin back at his own oh, nine. Punny, but he no gets the punt off, no trouble with the snap. High wobbling punt, and were they able to keep it out of the end zone? He's the guy to watch in this situation. Uh -oh. Vandergriff steps into the pocket. Walker's right there. He got it off for a first down. To Jordan Dingle. Oh, uh, yeah, they sell like two seconds. Vandergriff, they're going to try the laterals, but Malachi Starks is there on the tackle to drop Jordan Dingle. Yeah, that game ain't crazy. Game over. Thank you if for watching Kentucky the video. Had, if Kentucky had maybe another, I don't know, 30 seconds maybe, they might have been able to get down the field. They might have been able to get down the field and get a field goal. But nonetheless, Georgia wins 13 to 12. That's actually crazy. Let's go check out the stats for this game. Georgia. Can't even spell tonight, but Georgia versus Kentucky. 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. I mean, that's not really how you win games, but. Um, so Vandergriff was 14-27-14. Carspat 15-24-160. 98-79. Let's see what Vandegrift's uh, running was like. Oh, he had 13 carries for 26 yards. Yeah, but he got sacked a few times too, I think. So that takes away from that as well. So not bad. I mean, Kentucky, they could have won. They just, looking at total yards, Kentucky had more total yards. They had more rushing yards too. They had more first downs too. Kentucky outplayed Georgia. This game, really, Kentucky should have won. You know, you replace just one of these with a touchdown, and they won. Um, replace all of them with a touchdown, and yeah, they won pretty decisively. So, you know, it's it sucks uh, to get that L if you're a Kentucky fan, but that that was a game that Kentucky really should have won. They should they should have been two and one, and even even after, uh, I think Georgia doesn't deserve to be number one after that, and that's probably why they're number two now. So. Uh, but make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is your boy, TN Smooth, saying peace.